a lot of people have asked us already because he was the subject of an A and E documentary last week. How was the Dingo Warrior to deal with? I know you knew him. Yeah, no, just like most wrestlers, uh, you know, totally. I I never dealt with a wrestler who wasn't professional and uh who uh you know i, I maybe i'm just lucky I, I everybody i i dealt with was uh uh you know off camera and you know there are two of us there's fritz and gary hart handle the wrestling and then i've got the television and i i never encountered any uh kind of uh of bad behavior i'm thinking to myself did did it exist i i certainly saw plenty of um wrestlers get injured you know uh i remember one night kevin got uh, a, a razor blade someone had dropped a razor blade uh in the and it stuck in the ring and I, you know, it, it, most of the time when wrestlers, things like this happen, you know, they're so used to it. They just, you know, take it, you know, and go. <laughs> but Dingo, I never, I never saw or heard or anything that was negative. I, I don't know any stories. Uh, what are you hearing? Well, I'm not asking you about negative. You produced him. What was your experience like producing him? Because they actually showed some WCCW uh, clips of the Warrior in this documentary, and he was already turning into the Warrior when he was there. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I I remember all of that. I, I don't have any detailed experiences. Like, like with most wrestlers I worked with, you know, they were workers. They did their job. And, um, um, you know, I'll remember funny stories uh, that uh, happened. But uh, I don't, you know, I don't remember any uh, anything that stood out with Dingo.